term street violence means to me guns, cars, knives, drugs, money, boys fighting. I've seen a lot and I've heard a lot and it's, it's like open mind up a bit because there's so much drugs in, the, in this city now, there's so much fighting, so much conflict and then so much, you know, like bad man attitude on everybody and, you know, it's just proper, proper corrupted it. I'm from an area called Girlington, which is situated in the centre of Rafa town. And uh, it's a predominantly Asian area where there's a lot of goon crime, there's a huge amount of drugs, there's a, there's a vast amount of huge powerful cars, how people phone them, are you drugs. There was a lot of violence growing up in my area. It was just area fight, it was territory, uh, they'd fight other poor schools. In school days, yeah, I was intimidated into going into other areas, like, I was like, always sticking to where I was from. You'd hear all these stories about, like, oh, don't walk in Great Aunt Park, otherwise you'll get knocked out by Bradford Seveners, or if you go into Bradford Seven, they might jump you and stuff like that. It's like postcodes, like, separating different areas. But now that I'm older and I'm out of them school days, it's not, it's not that such thing, Bradford Five, Bradford Seven, or whatever. I was involved in, uh, in the Braffa riots that took pl uh, place in 2001. I was only 17 years of age then. But to me, what I thought would be going in, in a town, peaceful protest, march, turned horribly nasty, I went totally wrong. I got sucked into the crowd. I became violent towards the police, throwing a huge amount of bricks. I was there from morning till night, midnight, and I just kept throwing, throwing, pelting stones at the police non-stop but back then I think because I was young what I thought I was doing was right because a racist party national front coming into our area Asian area I thought what, what I did was the best for my community we should basically break these barriers and just create some bridges where people can work together and understand each other understand each other's culture where we come from yeah before in my area, it was like majority white people, and in my area there was a couple of um, Asian families, me and someone, a couple of others. So it's like we used to always have fights. One person will be like involved in a fight, but then he'll call his friends, and then whoever else will call their friends, and then you know like that is just going to back each other up. You know, like being loyal to your friend. And like obviously I used to be like everyday thing. But now obviously like you grow up, you know, you get older, you get more mature and then like it's you think it's pointless, there's no point in um, you know, like fighting each other and all that kind of stuff. And now it's gone like fifty fifty, like Muslims, Asians and all that kind of stuff and white people. So like it's in a way it's like it's benefited the community because like now there's not much of that. There's not much violence or gang violence in the community now. You can't really take no, no action to stop street violence really because no matter what anybody does, the police have put like loads of coppers on the streets and everything. But no matter what you do, there is always going to be a fight or there is going to be a conflict. And there's always something. It's just the way young people and people think. You can't really do out about it really. You can try but obviously it still end up happening. Feel these peaceful surroundings, I feel happy really. It's just like somewhat different, somewhat new. It's not, not an everyday thing. I feel relaxed being here. Getting away from it all, feel good about it as well. It's like, it's just a totally different environment. You don't see no cars going about, you don't see no guns, you don't see no knives, you know, you don't see no loud music, no dancing, you know, like you, you'll see around Rafford. It gives you a chance that you can reflect on like, probably previous things that you've done. 
because you've got a lot of time here. It's like you have distractions that are back there. You have like your friends. You have other things like your TV, your computer, your Xbox, your PlayStation. Back in Bradford, it's just like you tend to stick to your own little group, and you don't really like like to go out and talk to other people. So it's like when we come here and there's a different group of people, it's like you have to socialize. And like when you do socialize with them, then it's like you get to know them and then you understand and you start thinking that if I can socialize with this group that I haven't chilled with before and I have to spend two nights and three days with them, yeah, then uh, why can't we do it with other people in Bradford? My youth workers, they've been, they've been to a lot. They've been to the criminal world more than any of us. And obviously they made a lot of mistakes in their life. They tell us a lot of stories about themselves. The reason being they tell us them stories so we can learn from their mistakes and we don't go down that road. I love a lot more trust in the youth workers than I did before. You know, because spending t you know three days with them, two nights, without any problems, you know, it builds a lot of trust. And I think I will be able to go for them, go to them for help.